Hi there. And welcome to the shed. Hi. In this edition, we're going to make something you can use at any dinner gathering, no matter how big or small. And that item is the candle holder. Now, the first phase is the planning phase. And in that phase, the most important part is the selection of your wood. Ain't that right, Al? Uh, that's right, Tim. Good wood is the start of every successful project. Mm -hmm. So why don't we take a look at the wood we're going to use for today's purpose. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is a nice solid piece with not many chips or plugs in it. Also, a nice thick grain will make sanding that much easier down the road. Uh, Tim? Yeah. I, uh, I think that they might think we're gay. Well, you guys must know that Al and I, we're all men. But when two guys enter the shed, in the spirit of creating, we see nothing wrong with showing a little affection for one another. For example, when we enter the shellacking stage. Tim, I really love what you did with that all last week. The all, yes. Well, thank you. That was real sweet. Yeah. Now, after proper and precise cutting, sanding, and finishing, your product should look like this. And if you're happy with the result, we see nothing wrong with some gentle stroking of the hair. Come here. Now, Al, I want you to tell all the viewers out there about the most important aspect of working in the shed. Sure thing, Tim. Most important aspect of working in the shed is uh, safety. And for storage of your wood products, we recommend a really tight, warm area. And now, also remember this. Splinters, they can be a real inconvenience. So uh, we also recommend using a lubricant, like this one. Sure. Hey, that's all for this week. But join us next week when we give you some tips on storage of wood items larger than yourself. So long and remember, give that man a hug. Give me a hug, Jim. So long. Bye.